All right, everyone, this is going to be a quick video, just an update to the U6 Lite versus the GWN7660 video that I released last week. As soon as that video hit the scene, a viewer commented and brought to my attention that the U6 Lite is definitely capable of achieving the same or similar speeds to the GWN7660 if it were set to the same channel width. Now, as soon as I read that in the comments, I realized I messed up big time. I never gave that a consideration. I was more concerned about the fact that both access points were the same distance away from me, that the GWN7630 in the ceiling was disabled so that wouldn't interfere, but I totally overlooked the channel width issue. So in this video, I'm going to redo just the speed test portion of that video. By the way, if you haven't seen that video, even though the speed test portion isn't accurate, Please check it out because the form factor comparison and the spec comparison are pretty accurate to say the least. So I'll put a link to that video up above. So in this video, I'm going to go ahead and repeat just the speed test portion of that video to do a fair comparison of both devices. Okay, we're about to do a speed test of the U6 Lite now that it's set to the same channel width as the GWN7660. So now the conditions are pretty much identical. The GWN7630 on the ceiling is disabled, so that will not interfere. The access points will both be about 15 feet away from me on the back workstation. So let's go ahead and do the speed test now of the U6 Lite. Okay, so we have 627 meg down and 209 meg up. Let's do that one more time. And that time we got 638 down and 367 up. Let me disconnect the U6 light now and fire up the GWN7660. And now we're connected to the GWN7660 Wi-Fi. Let's perform the same speed test using the same speed test server. Okay, so we got 544 down and 198 up. We'll try that test again, just like we did for the U6 Lite. And that time we got 552 down and 259 up. All right, so there you go. There's a better comparison of the U6 Lite versus the GWN7660. At least the testing environment is the same. The channel width was set to the same. Now, again, in your environment, due to construction materials, et cetera, your mileage may vary, but at least we gave you a better idea how the two devices perform in here in this environment. So if you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out other videos that I have listed here up above. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share this video. And I want to thank you as I do in every video for using the Amazon affiliate links. I know they don't change your price, but they do help out the channel. Once again, my name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, please stay safe. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.